minutes. But it's cool. I had the... Oh, no, y'all were hearing me through the RL camera. At least, no, I don't even think y'all were hearing me through that one either. Whatever, it's fine. I'll edit this part out in post or some shit like that. But, yeah. Now, what's going on, guys? Big ups to uh, Rooftop Noona again for the follow, because I had myself muted for the last five minutes. Mike was muted the whole time, huh? It's okay. Shit happens. Let me turn Jeff up again, because I just realized what I was doing. There we go. That should be fine. I hope it is. But if it isn't, someone will tell me in the chat. independent developers who we think deserve the spotlight, too. If we do this right, hopefully you'll discover a few new games to put on your wish list. And even if you don't get every announcement that you desire, let's face it, you're not going to get everything today, okay. but we've got a lot of great stuff. So oh, man, I didn't realize started. I missed so much of the Over presentation in the ago, beginning. Capcom Street Fighter hit arcades, Jeez, dog. and ever since, this legendary Japanese fighting game series has continued to evolve. Street Fighter VI is coming in uh, 2023, me, uh, and right now, we're this. excited to officially confirm a character coming to the game. And oh my god, is it Bison? First gameplay footage. It's Enjoy. not going to be Bison. It's never Bison. Bison's basically dead at this point, which sucks. I was pretty decent with Bison in Street Fighter 4. You won't know what hit you. Let me have some fun. Let's get this mission started. But if you're wondering why the drink cam is up there, I actually made a joke to Congo about it. And I, he was like, there, there will never be a hand cam on this stream. And I was like, well, what about a drink cam? And he was like, no, there will never be a drink cam. And I was like, alright, I guess I'll do it. Someone says they won't do something and I'll, I'll do it <laughs> for no reason. Just because. Just because I can't. Hey, hold up real quick. I'll be right back. Y'all watch the trailer and I'll be back in a second. I'm just on another level. It's all about the comb. All right. Next, it's time Sorry for about a that. Dogs are being a little rowdy. Announcement here at Summer Game Fest. Check this. Out. Oh my God! Let's check it. What is it? With the uh, with the power of being in the future, I can actually see what trailer's coming up now. Certainly but uh. I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to do that. I'm gonna try not to spoil myself because I only watch and bring it back on their dog. Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna try not to spoil myself even though I watched like maybe the first hour, maybe forty five minutes of this thing. Jesus, Dre, god damn it. Oh wait, is is it not popping up? Oh no, did that not pop up? I don't know, I didn't see it. I heard it, but I didn't see it. Give me a second. Let me let me read this again. Okay, there it goes. God, jeez, it's so loud. Okay, what's going on, Jason? Glad you could make it. Hope your day's been going good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. GM. What's going on, dude? Glad you could make it. Hope your day's been going good. Checking out the Summer Games Fest trailer, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we got a drink cam going on at the top. Yo, we got we got Howdy. Zenos. Hey, what's going on, Moon Moon Dinosaur? I was gonna call you Moon Dancer again. Jeez, why do I do that? Go, go, go. Oh, we got we got some some alien action going on. Honestly, these alien trailers make better movies than like the recent alien movies are now. It's insane. Miku Jam. Miku Jam, love it. <laughs> Dang, he left her. I don't know what I saw in there. But 
I know when I close my eyes. I still see it. Oh my god, it's right behind him. Now everything's Wait. dead. What the f What's going on? And someone needs to know. Okay, never mind. This this trailer was dumb. <laughs> well, are you expecting me to believe that all the aliens just like stealthily killed this killed all these dudes and then just like left him alive? Oh, it's a top-down shooter. You know what? I might I might I might enjoy this. 2023. Jeez, that's so far away. Why is it got to be so far? Dre, make it come out sooner. <laughs> But that was Aliens Dark Descent and it's hey, you know what I I thought it was going to be a first person Next, shooter two years ago at the but the fact that it's a top down shooter kind of gives me more hope for whatever reason I don't know why but it today, does I am thrilled to get to show We'll see how it is raw gameplay alongside uh, its creator Glenn Schofield big ups first, and cheers to the new Schofield Alien game of the brand new trailer with a little more gore But uh, if you're wondering why the PNG model's up, it's because I got the hand cam going. And uh, as you all know, gondolas don't have hands, so I can't use the hand I can't use the gondola model tonight. Can you do subtitles? Can you do subtitles? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if the audio is too low, let me know, dude. I'll uh, we got auto generated. If the audio is too low, let me know, and I'll, I'll boost the audio a bit. Did you know that they call Callisto the Dead Moon? No, I didn't know that. Actually, I didn't know that. Just like you. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, dude. You out of that wreck. Here for you guys. You know, so let me turn this on. Right there. there we go, Mecca. That's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life Holy shit! <laughs> in my hands. I still don't know what to think about this game. I've already seen it twice. And I think it looks okay, but I don't know if I'd play it myself just because I didn't care much for Dead Space. Let me see, if, is this at 1080? Yeah, this is at 1080, so why does it look a little jank? Eh, whatever. It was probably shot on a PS5. Yeah, because, like I said, I didn't really care much for, uh, for Dead Space. So that's why I'm still a little iffy on this game. But I do love space horror. Space horror is definitely a thing that doesn't get enough love. Gives me chills every time. But I think this is made by the uh, by the Dead Space devs. I don't know because I know that the Dead Space devs are making a remake, so I have no idea where this is coming from. Hey, there you go. You got the uh, you got the dead space stomp in this game. Let's go. Pretty brutal, man. A little disappointed his health bar didn't go all the way down when that happened. It's the little details you got to pay attention to. But uh, you know what? I'm 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 iffy on it. It just looks like Dead Space, honestly. Yeah, that's that, that's what I was saying too. It's it just looks like Dead Space, and I wasn't a big fan of Dead Space. That's right. We know. So I I, I don't exactly know what to now, think about it. Like if you love Dead Space, I I'm sure this game will be right up your alley. But for someone like me who's just like very iffy on Dead Space, I just it looks iffy to me as well. Shipping this December, all in COVID, blows me away. So congratulations. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, Thanks for having us. I really do appreciate it, Jeff. Um, and, you know, for a second, just give me a second. All right, give him uh, a know, second. I want to thank give him this guy a second. Uh, for all, all right, it's too late. The game industry, Seconds uh, go on. Years, Let's go. I, I think I've known you like 16, 17 years now. And uh, um, you've been Jeff Keighley has been like um, you've amplified an uncle games, to me studios, and bringing me all these uh, gaming goodies. I, I just <laughs> Not about me it's about you guys yeah i, I know I, but i appreciate that thank you so much and yeah it's so fun to do these shows and to show this game i'm surprised jeff trailer, was able to pull this so off but he's today, he's got a lot of connections in the in the industry so you know big, big ups to that and because it was like you know no one wants to do e3 because everyone just has a negative opinion of e3 but it's not e3's fault 
it's too it's all the game devs the fault the cuz they're all bringing uh, their their shit games to this station, and they're just like look at our shit uh, game and then everyone's like oh my god E3's so, so shit some, uh, and then Jeff starts this up he's like it's going to be cool guys it's going to be for the gamers and then developers come in and bring their shit trailers and everyone's like oh my god the summer games fest sucked and, and I was like, uh, no, it's it's not uh, Jeff's the, fault. Uh, the nice it was the game devs. Well, they brought shit uh, trailers. You know, they didn't bring the gameplay. And Jeff should have made that in the contract. He's like, you gotta you gotta bring uh, gameplay to be uh, featured in the games second, fest. I, I want to thank the team, man. But like I don't said, know. Whatever, I ain't Jeff. I don't, I don't even know what I'm even talking about right now. I'm just making up scenarios. Thank you very much. Well, Glenn, I gotta say again, you know. What you guys are shipping this year? Oh yeah, but uh, like a anyone new to the stream game, right now? It's, it's let me show y'all what I'm drinking. Like this, this year, and I'm drinking some Crown Apple. Out. You can't really see it because of all the chroma keying and uh, wild ass color schemes I got going on on this webcam. All right, there we go. We got some gameplay going on. Let's go. Is he Je Je Jeff? Knows I thought what he's doing. E3 just became a zoo because they let the public in when they didn't before. You know what? I mean, e E3's... So, I remember E3 being open to the public, and then I remember that they closed it. And it was just, you know, press only. And then after that, they closed it again. Or th they opened it again. And, yeah, it was it was really freaking weird. Uh, that That's how I remember it, but it's it's been... It's actually been a long time since I've paid attention to E3 or anything related to E3. I don't even remember what E3 was last year. I, kind of, I vaguely remember a little bit of E3. Uh, the, the, the year before, I have no idea what E3 was even about. I just know that Ubisoft always brings in, like, the craziest shit. <laughs> like, the craziest non-gamer shit ever. Yeah, this, this is basically Dead Space. Whatever, you know, I'm, I'm sure someone is enjoying this, enjoyed this trailer, and you know what, big ups to them. They're, uh, they, they still know what happiness is. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just wish that maybe there were more enemies. Dog, what are you doing over there? I'm too Digging. jaded. I'm too jaded as well, my man. I gave up on happiness a long time ago. But I don't know. I'll I don't even know when this game comes out. Like this game could come out at the end of the year and it'd probably be like really good. It'll probably like it'll probably ch like do what Resident Evil 4 did for horror games. It could do that. I, I literally thought today, so they don't even come out with new games anymore, just remasters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they showed like two remasters at this. I saw the the Last of Us remaster, and what was the other remaster that I saw? I don't even remember what the other remaster. Oh, Dead Space remaster. But I don't know, man. I wish they'd remaster some good games like Robot Alchemic Drive. Although I am stoked for that neon white game, it looks unique. Uh, neon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the homeboy Cyber the Wolf posted that trailer in my, uh, in my Discord. It looked okay. I, I had no idea what I was looking at, so I just, I was just like, eh, it's, it's okay, I guess. But I'll, I'll, I'll pay more attention to it if a lot more people are kind of getting interested in it. world premiere of its gameplay with a level playthrough. To tell us more, let's head to the port of Long Beach. To okay, I'm not gonna lie. I nearly fell asleep when I saw this playthrough for this level, because it's everything that's so boring about real life tactics. It might be poopy, but it's got style. <laughs> yeah, it does. It definitely got style to it. And on October 28th, we usher in a new era of Call of Duty with the launch of Modern Warfare 2. We are back. We are bigger, and we are bringing the entire team. Let's let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. The ghost. The whole team's here. Everyone's here. Modern Warfare 2.2. No, it's 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 Modern Warfare 2, sequel to Modern Warfare, not related to Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2. Look, Ghost is back. Everyone loves Ghost. I love Ghost. Ghost was cool. I gotta pick up right. Modern Warfare. 
It's not a remake, guys. I swear, it's not. 22 October, October, er, 22 October 2022. That's, oh my god, that's literally this year. But yeah, uh, I, I hated this because it's everything that I hate about real life tactics. Real life tactics is super boring. You can make it look cool. Vice, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> oh, no. What do you got there? Who is that? Is that Grade A Hooligan? Oh no, that's not that's that's not them. No wait, is that Cather? Is that is that Yeah, Catherine Cypher, Grade A Hooligan. Yeah, that was her. I haven't actually watched one of her streams. God damn it. <laughs> uh everyone loves that redeem. I I I admit I love it too. But, uh, Vice, if you're wondering why I got the PNG up, it's because I got the hand cam going. I got the drink cam going. That is a grader hooligan. You get shot for being wrong <laughs> and lacking tactics. I was saying grade A hooligan. But no, uh, I watched this trailer er earlier, and like I said, this, this trailer is everything that I hate about real life tactics. It's like I, I'm playing Call of Duty. I want to. I want to. I want a Rudy Tooty point and shooty, not not pretend that I'm being Spec Ops. But yeah. Look at these guys. But you know what? The 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 tactics are spot on. I'm not gonna lie. What they're doing is some, is some pretty uh, pretty spot on shit. So big ups to that. Big did ups for getting. Did you play the Splinter Cell games? How far uh, into the presentation are you? Ah, dude, we're not even that far. We're literally like 15 minutes into the presentation. Uh, you you didn't miss anything. You, it, I'll probably go back and rewatch that Alien uh, trailer just because I like aliens. And as I said earlier, the Aliens trailers actually make good Alien movies like far better than what the what the actual alien movies are. But, uh... What's it called? Yeah, no, th like... Th this is... Alien. Nice. Yeah, like, th this is a very poor a uh, Call of Duty trailer. Like, they should have went with something way more action-packed than this, uh, this real-life tactics uh, bullshit. Because, as I've said before, this this is the most boring part of of being tactical. It's very slow paced. It's very methodical. It's very systematic and thorough. The vice will understand those keywords. But I, I, I guess we're kicking into the uh, into the more fast paced portion of it. But even then, like the guy that's playing is is, is playing kind of shitty. But. Uh, dull gone. <laughs> What's going on, Panda? Glad you can make Hi. it. What's going on, dude? Glad you can make it. Hope your night's been going pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Vice knows those words. Systematic and thorough. Yeah. That's that, that's what tactics is, and that's that's kind of what they're doing. God damn it. Fucking bonk. Dude, I got a better one now. I got the shoot me redeem. Everyone loves that one. <laughs> nice. God damn it. I need my copium from hearing those words, Gondola. <laughs> uh, those words will forever be ingrained into my memory. Systematic and thorough. If you do something, make sure it's systematic and thorough. Uh, and, uh, the, the, these are my tactic gloves, too. I got the hard knuckles and stuff. I couldn't find my other gloves, so I was just like, oh, whatever, I'll just, I'll, I'll just, you know, glove it up today with these. I also got the OCPs on, which look very trippy with the, uh, the Chroma Keen. I thought that was the power glove. Nah, this ain't a power glove. It's my, where is it at? It's, what's the drink cam? Uh, what's the drink, drink cam, dude? We got a drink right here. I should have called it drink. Drink cam, but the drink cam uh, came up from the uh, from Congo saying that he would never have a hand cam on stream, 
So I asked him, Congo, what about having a drink cam? And he um, was like, he was like, no, no, Gondola. What are you drinking? Oh, what am I drinking? Oh, uh, let, let me let me show it for all the new people that are here. Uh, I got some Crown Apple with uh, some Sprite going on right now. So you'll probably hear me crack open another one. I uh, I kind of quit drinking for a little bit, but I figured since and where is the chug redeem? There is no chug redeem. I I I won't chug alcohol. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I I don't know. I I, I kind of dig this Call of Duty. Um, like I said, I wish they showed off a better a better level, but that's eh, whatever. I was watching DSP's reaction to this trailer earlier today, and this dude was like the saltiest motherfucker I've ever seen. I'm like, holy shit, dude. Like, <laughs> I, I, I get that you hate Call of Duty. I mean, I, I don't like Call of Duty either, but I'm I'm genuinely impressed with this. Like, it it don't look too bad, but I like, as I've said before, I just wish that they showed off a better, a better level. Something that's a lot more fast-paced and, you know, traditional to Call of Duty. Um, especially with what they're doing with the graphics so far, uh, it's, it's looking way more impressive and they're, they're definitely getting a lot better with, uh, with, uh, with their showcases, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I considered getting it, but I saw the $70 price tag and I was like, you know what, I'll, uh, I'll wait for a sale. Besides, they're, they're doing like Call of Duty like every two years now, so it, I, I can afford to wait. A little bit. Oh man, look out! I, I wish uh, Call of Duty would bring back Lean though, not the drink. Oh yeah, nah. He he knew what was going. He was he that that was a scripted event right there. He knew exactly what was going to happen. That's why he didn't shoot him on sight. Cause I would have shot him on sight right there. Hell yeah! Let's fucking go. I think this is where, like, the trailer actually kicks into overdrive. Because, like I said, I watched, like, the first 30 minutes of this thing. There we go. Yeah, that, that's that's the that's the trailer they should have opened up with. Was them running through, like, that night field. That's what they should have done. But they didn't. There you go. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, I, I was watching DSP's uh, reaction to this. And he was like... He's like, well, it's not an open beta if you got to pre-order for it. But it's like, no, dude. He said pre-order to get access, early access to the open beta. Like, you get it two days in advance before everyone else. But he didn't understand that. And that shit was fucking hilarious to me. That's what we're talking about. They were so close to that explosion. I don't really. like that. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's okay. It's a door explosion. So... We saw the first gameplay. Thanks for that extended sequence. Looks incredible. Uh, Jeff, tell us Drink a bit about done. that mission. Uh, where is that set in the game? What are we seeing there? Absolutely. So um, first of all, we're really excited to welcome back uh, Captain John Price and uh, uh, Gaz uh, Garrick. DSP um, not understanding you know, things. Not, not <laughs> how typical. Today, but, yeah, y'all know how it goes, Fun guys. fact, my fam is mad at me uh, for my niece painting my nails. Oh, no. That was true. Our, uh, my brother paints his Ghost nails Riley for, like, no fucking reason, and, uh, but I don't, course, I don't give a shit. Couch. I think it's weird, but um, I'm going to be like, I don't care, dude. Here, fucking really do whatever excited, you want to uh, do. But he paints his nails black for some reason. I don't know. I think he lets his girlfriend do it. Commander Philip Graves and Mexican Special Forces... Colonel Alejandro and Alejandro, I guess. Colonel, like bullshit! Really they got a colonel out there doing the guy, fucking spec uh, ops. Just as important as Task Force One. <laughs> That's like the um, fucking the master. I thought she was um, using you know, this, watercolor I, I log. Uh, w but no, fucking, they got a colonel Alexander out here in the fucking battlefield spec ops, and it was ghost and some other schmucks. Bullshit. That's like the fucking. Uh, that's like the fucking Master Sergeant. No, the Chief Master Sergeant in the first Transformers movies. Maybe. Let me, let, you know, let, let me look this up. Because this, this was a fucking meme for a while. Uh, Transformers. PFFFT. Colonels are usually super old. Crazy. Yeah. Forces, because people don't know this, but there was a security forces member in the Transformers movie, and it was uh this dude, 
This dude's fucking security forces, and he's a fucking chief master sergeant. The biggest bullshit ever. Like, no fucking way. <laughs> this dude's fucking chief master sergeant out here in the fucking battlefield. No fucking way. That dude would be in a fucking back office somewhere doing some random fucking bullshit. The funniest shit I've ever seen. Let me see. What else? Is there, is, what else? Uh, Tinker Airman. <laughs> oh man, the funniest shit ever. But yeah, no, they they got they got this fucking security forces dude hanging out with this army guy. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's the funniest shit though. Cybertron security. What? What the fuck is this? The security forces for Cybertron. Me and Cybertron. Oh yeah, security I forces. remember the scene. The only CMS GT that does work is the Park Raven Chief. <laughs> oh man, that shit's fucking hilarious to me, dude. Because I remember when that meme started going around, there was just like, it was like, this is what your Chief Master Sergeant looks like, and it's just that dude from the Transformers movie standing in a back office somewhere, all jacked up. I was fucking laughing my ass off when I saw that shit. I gotta find that, uh, shift and leave you exposed. I gotta find that fucking, uh, creating this emerging game Vice may have seen it, um, so because it was, it's a very popular video among security forces, so where it's, uh, security and forces across every, video. like, movie uh, or TV show or something like that. Or security forces depicted in every movie and TV show, and it's the funniest fucking shit. I'm gonna see if I can find that on the offside, on the side, side thing. It's such a big moment, not just for Modern Warfare 2, and everything that Jeff and the team at Infinity Ward have built, but it really marks the step change, what we're calling a transformational moment for the entire franchise. You're gonna see incredible rendering, incredible graphics, all the things just within the game itself, built all on one shared engine now, across Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 going forward. Of course, there's a lot of chatter and interesting. Hey Gondo, how's it going, man? Hey, I've yeah, only well, known one colonel that was super fit and capable um, of field be, work. Jeez. I don't think I've ever seen a colonel that was like fit and capable of field work. Um, well, what's going on, well, Yellow? Glad so you could make it. Sort of feed the or uh, we're doing some reactions to the to the trailers um, here. Again, I think the I'm going to skip this because I don't really feel like listening to them talk. Warzone coming. Yo, Gondola. Yo, Cyber. What's going on, dude? Glad you could make it. Hope your day's been going good. All right, let's turn back time. I'm back good. Just got off work. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Witchfire at the Game Awards. Good to hear. Almost five years later, I am so excited that the team at the Astronauts in Poland has put together an in-depth look at the gameplay of this dark fantasy first-person shooter, which will enter early access soon. Doing good. So just finished streaming. Oh, uh, nice, nice, nice. Too. Where are we streaming, dude? See this. I must have missed it, but I, I haven't been on YouTube all day. See. God dang it. Yeah, the commander of the 11th SFS. I uh, forgot his name, but he was damn fit. Metroid <laughs> Fusion. Oh, Metroid Fusion. Yeah, that's a great one, dude. Nice. Metroid is Kino. Metroid is super Kino. I got lost on a straight path. Okay, I think I found it. Advice underscore Hikari. Hey man, good to see ya. How's it going, dude? Okay, so I think this is the trailer that I remember seeing like years ago that was done by the former devs at People Can Fly. But I don't know if it is or not. But it it doesn't look too bad. Um, I don't know. But I got the rest of the weekend off. Ooh, hell yeah, dude. Live it up. Enjoy it. Yeah, I don't know what to think of this game, mainly because it's just, they only show one gun, it's a bolt-action rifle. Well, they show two guns. I oh, know, they, they show more. I don't know, they should have shown more than just a bolt-action rifle. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and every, every, time I, every time I have a yeah, criticism buddy. for the game, they always show something different. Hell yeah. They know what, I, they know what I'm thinking. Which the yellow fire? underscore 627 hanging in there. Still sick, but I beat Mega Man ZX today. Oh, hell yeah, Vice. I think I might have missed the yeah yeah I, I think the ah oh, goddamn it it's like the game store shit 
It's okay. Okay, next, What's the next up trailer? comes an ambitious new game from a new independent studio in Europe starring some very familiar names. Oh? Enjoy this world premiere new game announcement. Let's go. What is it? Who can it be? Who who are Good these shit, familiar faces? Who are these feel familiar better faces? Soon. My brother is Lord. graduating to middle school, so I'm Tonga. taking him to the Lego store on Saturday. Nice. Today, um, I can't believe what I saw. Let's get this sit then. Solace. Everything okay in there? Yeah, dude, we're all good. I don't know what to think of this one. I get the feeling that this is just going to be a walking simulator. So I I already have biases against it. Unless I see something different in here that I didn't see the first time. But uh, I get the feeling that this is just a walking what simulator. What even is this? Uh, this is a new space horror game. Which uh, I, I don't know what to think about it. Because I haven't seen enough of the trailer yet. But like I said, I'm I'm assuming that this is a walking a walking simulator, and if it is, I'm I already hate more dead space. Nah, it's not dead space. This is a uh, Fort Solace, uh, Mars simulator. Wish list on Steam. Troy Baker, big up Troy Baker. Dude's got his fingers in a lot of pie. Hey, there's new. the man. Look who it is. Oh my God, Troy it's Troy more Baker. More like space is dead. <laughs> guys, space is dead. Uh, this is so fun. The fact that you're working on a game together. Oh my what God, cool guys, I can't believe it. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, Good to be here. I gotta ask you guys. Uh, who are I know nothing about this game. game. This well, this was uh, literally just shown today, dude. There's probably nothing else to know about it other than what we just saw now, which I'm assuming is a walking simulator. Troy right. Baker is a game developer. No, he's he's voice acting in the game. Roger's character. The battle we've been waiting to see. <laughs> but you know, he's, yeah. he's anything yeah. makes me we think of an army barracks. It really I does. I need that chair force awesome. quality of life. So great to be here. For us. <laughs> if it doesn't have a uh, air base in it, I don't want to be there. First game since yeah. Red Dead. One of the first major ones for a while, and I play a character by the name of Jack Leary. He's a maintenance engineer on a remote Martian mining post. Okay. His job is to make sure that none of the equipment breaks down while it's on their graveyard shift. The graveyard shift meaning Mars oh, and Earth is my water. Really far apart from each is that other Arthur Morgan? The sun. I have no so idea who that is. Simple call away. Uh, I gotta ask, I, I think a lot of people will see this thing and they'll probably wonder, you know, it's a new team, right? Uh, new, you know, independent studio in Europe that's making this, but with huge production values. I'm curious, like, how did you guys get attached to this? Tell us a bit about the background. I I will say that 2020 I, to me was oh the my god. Oh no, wait, we got we got gameplay. We got gameplay in here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, we got we got stuff. Let's go. I don't know what I'm looking at, but we got a we we got a lot of space horror going on in this. So let's let's fucking go. I like space horror. I feel like I'm starting to slur my words now. Maybe I am. It's been a while since I've actually had a drink. We got space vampires, space aliens. Oh my god. What could this be? I get the feeling that this is another walking simulator. Oh no, he's got a gun. Let's fucking go. Actually, no, that ain't a gun. That's a scanner. Fucking rip. Wonder if we're gonna get any more footage on the Dead Space Remake. I don't know. Maybe. But I've, as I've said before, I'm not I'm not a big fan of the Dead Space games. Uh what is it? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm just not a big fan of the Dead Space games. That looks pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie. It's a running simulator. Yeah, it's a running simulator. It's a hide and seek simulator. Routine, holy shit! No fucking way. Routine's back, guys. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. Fucking... <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't heard anything from Routine in, like, years. I thought this game was fucking dead. That is a pretty sick robot, I ain't gonna lie. I like the teeth thing. I can't believe Routine is fucking back. Like, holy shit. Okay, we, 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 we can skip this. This is just a rock shill in his movie. There we go. What is this? It's like some other lame shit. Yeah. 
I don't know what this is. Whatever, it's fine. We'll watch it. Mainly because I didn't want to watch the Black Adam trailer again. I've seen that movie, or I've seen that trailer like twice already, and I'm not too interested on it, but they got Pierce Brosnan playing Dr. Fate, which I guess is pretty cool. Uh, I kind of wish The Rock played Lex Luthor. Uh, I, I think that would have been a better fit for him. But you know, you could, you could play Black Adam too. I, I don't mind. Hide and seek. Where's the capture the flag? Except no one attacks you. Simulator, aka security forces simulator. Yeah, just hold the point. No, the se security forces is basically He's just King of the Hill. He's too no, no, no. Like, like a uh, DC animated universe Luther. He he could have totally played that Luther. I have no idea what this game is. Oh, Outriders. Okay, eh, we could we can work with that. Yeah, look. Uh, let me. Uh, the Rock playing Lex Luthor would have been cool. Justice League Lex Luthor. Yeah, see, Rock Rock totally could have played this dude. I could have totally seen The Rock playing this guy. And it would have been a really good fit. Rock totally could have played that dude. Hey, we got uh, we got the Capcom fighting game collection. Let's fucking go. Oh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I need to, I still need to play the second one. I have no interest in the first game, but the second game is kind of alright. But it's... I don't think it's a game I can stream. I'm too used to the Smallville version of Lex. Oh. What is this? Oh my god, it's that game. You've got to center it. The drink cam is hiding everything. Is it? What do you mean, drink cam's hiding everything? Oh! Reopen. Oh, it was. There you go. Yeah, Rock Rock totally could have played this guy. Xenoblade 1 and 2 are both good. As well as Saga and Gears. Xeno yeah. is Kino. <laughs> drink cam was hiding Lex's face. Yeah, nah, see... Rock totally could have played Lex Luthor. He's even doing the rock eyebrow here, dude. Come on. Tell me he couldn't have played a Lex Luthor. What does Kino mean? Kino just means uh, highest tier of art, highest form of art. Yeah, Fall Guys. Fall guys for All right, whatever. It's Fall Guys. Like, like, no, no one plays I Fall Guys anymore. I keep hearing that word lately. It's, it's, it's been a meme word for a while. It, it basically refers to movies, but a lot of people have been using it outside of movies to just be like, Oh, this game is Kino, or oh, that meme is Kino, or some some like that. Oh, I didn't mean to skip it. Discovery, this is command. Storms in your back. Prepare for extraction. Oh, I remember seeing this trailer. This uh, this is a trailer, all right. This is the most video game trailer I've ever seen with like no gameplay. I wasn't impressed. Okay, now that casino makes sense now. <laughs> What could it mean? Now we're talking. Nice ass shot. I see the game industry is healing itself now. <laughs> Command, I may be onto something. We'll watch this trailer later. Or not trailer, but we'll watch that video later. But yeah, no, I, the, the, like I said, this is the most video game trailer that I've ever seen, and it's, it's not even what you think it is, because when I was watching this trailer, I was like, oh my god, we got mechs fighting Eldritch Horrors, I was like, let's fucking go. I was like so hyped for it, and then the trailer ended, and then they said what it really was, and I was just like, oh man, I, I wish it was mechs versus, mechs versus demons. 
and that turned out to not be the case, and I was extremely disappointed. I'm just gonna spoil it, it's an RTS game. But we can watch a mech beat up a demon right now, so it's cool. Based. Let's go. Mechs versus demons would be sick. Mechs versus demons would be sick, dude. It's the most original idea they ever had. Ah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Vice. I, I'm sure you were getting pretty hyped for that, and it looked pretty cool, and then after that, it's just like, oh. Uh, register for beta. It's probably not even going to be an RTS. It's probably going to be a MOBA. Like a weird MOBA. I don't know. Maybe they got a gameplay screenshots over at the website, but I'm not I'm not about to go check it out. Have it, Tim. Let's see. Let's just skip. Let's skip what Tim has to say. What is this? True or not? The one thing we can't deny is that the world ended Is this by Blizzard? It looks like a Blizzard game, I ain't gonna lie. Like, everything about it screams Blizzard, but it wasn't really... And it, it just says brand new RTS. And then we got, a, we got another emotions simulator. This looks like an emotional sim simulator. Is that a thing? Is emotion simulator a, a game or something? Or a genre? I feel like it should be. Uh... Walking Dead's an emotional simulator. What else? Uh, Life is Strange. That's that's definitely an emotional simulator. That's probably like the biggest emotional simulator I've ever seen. Emo Sims would be freaky. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> oh man. There you go. I got a new term, emotional simulator, high water. No, this is definitely an emotional simulator. I'm I'm feeling it in this song that they're playing. I'm very I'm feeling very emotional now. Let's go. Emo Sims are for NPCs. <laughs> high water is an adventure strategy game set in a world. Adventure strategy game. Let's go. Now, Tell me more about this, us, Joff. The conflict in Ukraine is not far from anyone's mind, and it's impacted the development of games, including Replaced from Sad Cat Studios, a Belarusian oh, studio no. from Belarus and Ukraine. The team had long hoped to reveal a new trailer here today, but were understandably unable to complete it in time. Guys, I just want to say we're thinking of you and all the developers. What about Stalker 2? Where's Stalker at? Future show. All right, our next game is an official There's some people there's some people on the internet that went to it's war with Russia just so that way they can defend Trevor. Stalker too. If you can believe that. No one's talked about it, but I I believe it. <laughs> Mo Ukraine. Exactly. No, there I'm you know what? You probably look on Reddit and there's probably some dude on there that said like, "No, I joined the the Ukrainian resistance so that way Stalker 2 could come out quicker." And I was like, "You know what?" That dude knows what he's fighting for. That dude wants a stalker too. He may die. Where are the Russian game developers at? <sighs> they they don't exist anymore, man. This looks like an emotional simulator too, or some type of simulator. Arcadia. Arcadia. This is a simulator of some type. Band. Yeah. Those game devs, those devs didn't do anything wrong, other than being born Russian. There's actually this very funny King of the Hill joke that I heard the other day when I was watching it. Um. I don't, oh, I, that, that's right. It's the uh, it's the episode where Bill thinks that he was experimented on by the army to be a. Uh, to be a, a mutant walrus person. And then after that, they're, they're just like, it's like the, it's like the army, like Bill's like, the army used me as a guinea pig. And then, and then Hank's like, Bill, it was a different time. We didn't, we didn't know that the Russians were incompetent back then. And it just, it fucking had me laughing when I fucking, when I heard that joke. And I was like, oh my God, like King of the Hill is certainly a timeless anime. It really is. Yo, is this GTA? We playing GTA now? What? Are they completely defying my expectations of what this game is? That reminds me of the weird movie, Tusk. Tusk? I don't think I've heard of it. Trevor, can you hear me? Be careful and don't make a sound. Ohio! Don't worry. Careful. It's Blade Runner. Make a sound. Ohio! Right there! Tusk is good. Huh. Ko is uh. Murican Animu. 
how how deep does the Ohio the Ohio conspiracy go? Ohio canonically doesn't exist though. <laughs> oh, that's that's what they want you to think. That's that's what Ohio wants you to think. Okay, I saw this trailer and despite there being no so I am actually hyped because I actually like this version of uh, Ghost Rider. Uh, Robbie Reyes is a really good Ghost Rider, and his like initial run back in like 2013, I think, was really good. It it had like 12 issues, but they were they were solid. They were they were really really good. And uh, like partway through, they changed artists and they changed it to like one of my favorite artists. Uh, the dude did art for Batgirl with uh, Cassandra Kane, like in her first run. And that dude can like draw in 60 frames per second. I don't know how to actually I'll pull it up in a little bit. Uh, I'll, I'll pull it up after this. Now, you know what? I'll, I'll just pull it up now. Uh, Cassandra Kane. Uh, comic. Uh, let's see. Who who was the artist again? Uh, V one. Here it is. I think it was this one. No, it wasn't this one. Where was it at? It was this artist. I can't remember his name, but this dude did like really really solid art. I'm pretty sure I have like. I'm pretty sure I have like some stuff like saved on my hard drives yeah like he, he was just like a really good art and he just really knew how to draw motion yeah here we go he just really knew how to like draw motion and stuff like that and just made the comics like flow seamlessly or make panels flow seamlessly and he had this really good way of just putting so much on one page but making it very easy to see what was going on and just like i've never seen any other artist be able to pull this type of stuff off but like this this dude pulled it off like th this dude was a great artist i just can't remember what his name is which is kind of sad cuz he's he's like one of my favorite artists he's like one of my favorite comic book artists but uh this dude came on and he started doing some co doing some art for the for the new ghost rider comic or i say new it was uh it was like literally years ago <laughs> i see the port uh puerto rican flag yeah i was just being nimi Heroes from the Avengers and X-Men crossover with supernatural ones like Blade and Ghost Rider Based. for a battle against Lilith, the mother of demons. Today, we've got a look at some new folks set to join the battle. But, like, oh no, I'm gonna get copyrights. Copy, ah, oh, it's Master of Puppets! I'm gonna get copyright strike. The stream's gonna get pulled down for this. Fucking rip. I didn't even know that because I was watching this trailer on mute. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to find the, the Sandra Kane comic that I got saved on here because it was one of my favorite ones. Comics. Uh. Maybe I don't. Oh, I do have it. Just keep talking over the music. Yeah, it's well. They they seem to be using it sparingly. They they knew what was going on. Here we go. Yeah, this this was like, whoa, dog. What are you doing? Like flip out of the bed. Here we go. Yeah, like this this dude just had a really great sense of style going on back then. Uh, let me see. They they gotta have the artist right here. Uh, Scott something, Campbell, Scott, Cam no, not Scott Campbell, where is the thing at? Where is this dude's name? Let me pull this off so that way y'all can actually watch the trailer and I can find out who this artist was. Scott something, it wasn't Scott Campbell. Uh, here we go, anchor, writer... Colorist, pencil. I don't have the name of the freaking artist. I got writer, pencil. Oh, Damien, Damien Scott. That was his name. Yeah, like this dude did like this dude does like amazing art. But let's see. I'm I'm literally just gonna show off this entire comic. Like 
just so you can see like this dude's style. Don't worry, I'll pause it. I'll pause it. Y'all didn't miss anything. That's it's literally just a cinematic trailer. It's literally just a cinematic trailer. We 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 got more important stuff to watch or witness. But yeah, no, like this this dude's comic just it just oozes personality. It's just oh man, it's so good. And like I said, when when it get when it gets to the part where he wants to convey motion, yeah, like right here. Like when he wants to convey motion and just like you know what's actually going on, he does it really good. And he does it really good with the action as well. Uh it's up here. Where is it? Here it is. Where like she just punches him into frame and then punches him out of frame. It's really good and it just oozes style. And I love it. It's really good. It's one of my favorite runs. It's one of my favorite comic Soulful. runs. Soulful. It really is. Uh if you haven't read uh here I'll pull it up again. If you haven't read the Batgirl done by Puckett Scott and Campanella, it's really good. I think it's like Batgirl Volume One. Hey, it's Spider-Man. Big ups. Everyone loves Spider-Man. Cuphead. I'm I'm gonna skip Cuphead. I'm sorry. I don't care about Cuphead. We got we got something. We got Joker Simulator. Society Simulator. Can I play as the fascist in this game? <laughs> no, you don't. Where's that game at? Where's Fascist Simulator? Where you can just kick people while they're down. This game looks pretty good though. I ain't gonna lie. Is that Yuri Lowenthal Spider-Man? It may be Yuri Lowenthal Spider-Man. I, I couldn't really hear his voice all too well because I was I felt like I was talking over it too much. I'll go back and I'll check it out. I don't know, this game looks okay. Hey, I kinda like that though. I like slamming people's heads into the sinks. Let me get this out of the way. Midnight Fight Express, let's go. The only fascist sim you get is Civ or an RTS. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Let's just skip to this. I saw... Oh god, is this Warframe? This is Warframe, isn't it? I don't know what this is. What dog? <laughs> oh my god. These dogs are like stepping over each other, trying to like find a spot to sleep on my bed. And they're just annoying each other. God damn it, this is Warframe. I quit playing Warframe years ago. Like, not even years ago, like a year ago. I don't need it. I do need that though. Watch Tenocon on Twitch. When is Tenocon? I need all this free stuff. I need all this free Warhammer shit. Time for a new look at Star Rail, an upcoming... Oh, or a UC Gundam game where you can play as Zeon. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet, dude. I. Why can't we get a Zeon game? Why can't we get a game where we play as the good guys? Is this the. Are you a Warframe enjoyer, Gondo? Uh, I used to be. There there was a time where I, I put in like a hundred hours into Warframe over the course of like maybe a month. And then after that I got over my addiction to Warframe because I was like Zionic this is unhealthy. Front. Zionic Front? Ooh, based. Is this the... Is this that Genshin Impact game? Is it the, that new Genshin Impact game, or is this something else? Oh man, Gondo, have you played Zionic Front? I have not played Zionic Front. There's, there's very little Gundam games that I've actually played. What? Dog? Jeez. Hold and down. Sino, I think VTubers are voice acting in this one, this. I... I don't know who Sanyo is. But if they're a VTuber and they got an into voice acting, big ups to them. It's literally all of our dreams. I just want to get into a voice acting scene for Earth Defense Force. That's all I want. This is like, nah, just... All I want to do is just be a voice actor for Earth Defense Force. Honkai. Is Honkai a gotcha game? I feel like this is gotcha shit. This is gotcha. 
This has got to be gotcha. There's no way. This reeks of gotcha. Zeonic Front is one of the hardest Gundam games you can ever touch. Based. You get the true Zeon experience when you do the Conduct Recon on the White Base mission. <laughs> Sorry I had two tabs open not realizing I started a message in one CAHT and not finishing. Yeah, nah, that's cool, Honkai dude. Impact is gacha. Knew it. This is gacha too. No, this is that other game you told me about, isn't it? I'm pretty tired at the moment. Ah, nah, you're cool, dude. Uh, Wolf, is this that game you showed me earlier in my Discord? No, this is something else. This is gotcha as well. You can tell. This isn't real gameplay. That's, uh, that's a one-hit combo. The Gundam combo kills thing. you instantly with its beam rifle in Zeonic Front. That's fucking based, no. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, it's not? Nah, but this is I've gotcha. never gotten past that mission. Oof, that's freaking rough, dude. Yeah, no, nah, this this isn't real Devil May Cry. They gotta do a lot more to, to make me think that this is Devil May Cry. They got furries in it. Fucking big ups furries. This, this might is, be his Genshin game. This this yeah, this is something. This is uh this is definitely a gotcha. I can feel it. You just you can just look at the art style and you can just tell it's gotcha. I'm like two drinks. <laughs> Jeez, dog. Yeah, T is by the Genshin team. Yeah. I'm like two drinks in now and I'm not feeling anything yet. It's kind of weird. Okay, I just want to see the... There we go. I just want to see Ninja Turtles. Let me get this out of here. We're cutting through like two hours of content like really freaking quick, guys. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> the game I posted was Neon White. I'm happy that game has a release date. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this game looks pretty sick. I ain't gonna lie. I like a classic beat em up. You know, I'd, I'd get this game. Yo, April O'Neil, playable character. What? Let's freaking go. Of course, they're going with the 80s. Uh,. Ninja Turtles, because that's the one everyone remembers. I called Casey Jones coming. <laughs> Six player mode? What? Bullshit. That's impossible. No one's ever been able to get more than four players on a, uh, on a beat em up game. It's going to be wild to look at. Can't even see what's going on, dude. This is wild. I'm going to get this game. I'm going to buy this game. There's going to be a VTuber collab stream. Shredder's Revenge. Let's fucking go. Who do we got? Playable characters. We got the four. Casey, April, and Splinter. Yeah, look at that. He's playing a Game Boy. That would and be sick, June 16th. Dude. That would be sick. June 16th. The team that made this did Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Ooh, nice. Yo, June 16th. Wait, what? Next Thursday. Oh, no. This is going to be gotcha. This is Valorant. I don't know what this game is. I'm literally making guesses. Hey, that's like my glass. Next week, so many games comes out my poor wallet. Uh, I ain't even going to buy any games, dude. I don't know what this is. I feel like this is PUBG or something. Like, th this, this reeks of Battle Royale. Everything about this is, like, it's just screaming Battle Royale to me. Unless it's a team-based shooter. But I get a feeling that this is a Battle Royale game. It's a Battle Royale game. Also, Holy House shit. of the Dead remake is supposedly coming. Yeah, I still got that on pre-order. Hero shooter? I'm assuming this is a Battle Royale hero shooter. Fiscal copy, I mean. Yeah, I know, I got the physical copy on Reload. Super people. Sega? Humankind? What? Play with six new cultures from Latin America. Very cool. Ah, oh, that's what this trailer was. Yo, big up Zinkin. 
Super People Ug, what a uni spired name. <laughs> I ain't even sure what gameplay was, but I have to assume it's a hero shooter now. Since it was called Super People, there's more. Oh man, Aztec. Rewrite. Big ups to the blue hair chick from history, I guess. The Stadia games are still being made for that. Oh god, Stadia. I knew a dude that was in, like really into the Stadia. He bought like three of them. How far will you push this dude bought like three Stadias. Like one for himself, one to keep at work, and then one for his ex or some shit like that. And I was like, dude, why? Why are you like this, dude? Why are you buying three Stadias and one for your ex-girlfriend that you don't even see anymore? This fucking dude. Civilization by combining a multitude of historical civilizations from the ancient to the modern era. One Piece is celebrating its oh God, One Piece. Wow. Namco is yeah. Mega Talk about fucked up. Video game <laughs> with One Piece Odyssey. Monkey to Luffy and his crew of pirates are off on their next adventure. This trailer reveals uh, the fucking One Piece, dude. I can't believe they brought Luffy One Piece to this fucking show. Exciting upcoming JRPG. Oh, it's a JRPG, not Fathom. The Straw Hat Pirates journeying along. I get shit line. for buying the same game more than once, but at least I have zero stadias. Very based. What the fuck was this? I was in my drink. There's like a fucking blue piece of paper in my drink or some shit. It's probably. Fucking something that came out of my sprite can. I'm probably drugged now. There we go. Drink two done. Let's pop open another one, I guess. I'm gonna just keep going until like I start slurring my words, which I haven't done just yet. Crack. Oh, too fast, too fast. It's okay. But yeah, if you've never had Crown Apple and Sprite, and you're of drinking age, I suggest you uh, you try it out. It's not too bad. Either that, or uh, get yourself some Crown Vanilla and some root beer, and that is that is delicious. But uh, if you don't like sweet drinks, you probably won't like these. I absolutely love sweet drinks. I'm talking more about the drinks than I am about this game, but I legit don't give a shit about One Piece. I did hear that One Piece is actually coming to an end, so I'm like, holy shit, do I actually have to read One Piece now? Because it's actually coming to an end? Yo, Soul Hackers 2, let's fucking go. I remember I'm getting into recently. Oh no, Cyber, please. Don't. I'm actually kind of looking- on the Thriller Bark arc. Oh, jeez. I don't even know what that is, dude. <laughs> I've never read anything or watched anything One Piece related. I had one guy that was going in tech school who was on X-Ray. He was watching One Piece because it was, uh, it was, it was just there. He was never going to run out of episodes. He was either going to run out of episodes in tech school or he was going to get out of tech school. And he ended up getting out of tech school before he finished One Piece. Was that fucking Joker? What the fuck was that? That looked like the Joker. Oh yeah, that ain't Joker, but it looks like Joker. I actually don't know what to think of this game. Because I, I kind of liked Soul Hackers 1. And I used to have it, but then I sold it. And it was the biggest mistake I ever made.
because I it was only until like maybe a year ago that I realized that I was playing Soul Hackers wrong. Uh, big ups for the uh, for the ad. We got the we got the big ads going on. Oh, we got the we got the EGS summer sale going. Let's go. The game pass. Let's go. Oh no, this is something else. This is like some streaming stuff. There we go. What's Capcom bring into the show? Oh. Big ups for the uh, big ups for the tier one. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, glad you're enjoying this cyber. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh man, this is wild, dude. You're insane. You're a madman. You really are. I need to get around to like actually getting the tier things like done, like the tier badges and stuff like that done. But uh, I haven't exactly figured it out just yet, and uh, I'm sorry, cyber. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the continued streak, though, yo, Mario. I just got my paycheck. Hell yeah, dude. Make sure you got money for yourself, though. I'm sure you do, though. I know you're a responsible guy. Big ups, tips. <laughs> yo, 610? What? Today? What? Mario Strikers whatever coming out today? Let's fucking go. We're gonna go out and buy it now. <laughs> Metal Hellsinger? Oh, this is, uh, what is this game? Oh, this is that one game that's like the Valheim, not Valheim, uh, what's that game? Beats per minute, BPM, beats per minute, bullets per minute. That looks okay. I don't know. I do like that you can actually see what's going on, but I don't Working like- Working in a restaurant is really good so far. Ah, nice, dude. That's uh, that's pretty good. I hope it's not too shit though. I get uh, I I I I hear that restaurants can be kind of taxing sometimes. System of a down. Let's go. Everyone loves System of Down. I guess I like Chop Suey. <laughs> Chop Suey's cool. I don't get a break unless it's a ten-hour shift. Holy shit, that's fucking rough, dude. I ain't gonna lie. But then again, we didn't really have breaks either in security forces, but, like, there was a lot of shit not going on, so we were basically on a, like, an 11-hour break and doing, like, one hour worth of work throughout the entire day. Uh, I don't know what's the thing about this game. It looks like it. Funcom? Ooh, Outsiders? The fuck is the Outsiders? Outsiders the book? Based on the movie? The movie based on the book? It's good money, though. Ah, that's pretty good to hear, though, dude. You know what? Rhythm shooters definitely need uh, more more games, cause I I liked uh, bullets per minute. There was another rhythm shooter, but I have no I don't remember what it was called. Cause there were like two of them coming out, but like bullets per minute somehow became like the bigger one, despite it kind of being slower. Well, not slower, but. I remember the other game having like a lot more traction for a while and then bullets per minute just like came out of nowhere and just like blew the other one out of the water. Oh, this is a 2K game. This is going to be lame. The Quarry. Okay, you know what? Maybe this is going to be good. Oh, we got horror games? What's going on here? Is this a... Have you played Crypt of the Necrodancer? I have not played Crypt of the Necrodancer. Is this a fucking quick time event movie? Is this just a movie? I feel like this is a movie. Who should I call? 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? Goodbye, cool world. We got to get out. I already hate this. I hate all these people. It's like the Dark Pictures games. Yeah, I was going to say this looks like a Dark Pictures game. This looks like that other game uh what's it called? Uh Until Dawn. This looks like that game. Or movie, I should say. I don't even think that's a real game. The Quarry. Bend the rules, you noob. Oh my god, it's tomorrow. Or it's today. Shit. Back at the Game Awards, we were proud to reveal Madden of the Dam. Madden of the <laughs> Nightingale. Can we just skip to the gameplay? That's all I want to see. There we go. 
Oh man, you know what? I'm actually feeling the alcohol now. Holy shit. What the fuck? Little hope. <laughs> There's a lot of these games. There really are. That dude just let himself get hit. Is this a survival simulator? This looks like a survival simulator. I don't know what to think of this game. I don't know what to think of a lot of these games. The, the only game that I would definitely buy is that Ninja Turtles game. That's definitely the only game that I would buy. Is this in medieval times? Uh, yeah, getting looks... sick of the serve games, honestly. Yeah. Be ready with your axe. Don't tell Fowl that though, Drayson. She may, uh, she may force you to play Terraria endlessly. Wait, is Fowl still in here? <laughs> oh no, Fowl's still in here. She's gonna force us all to play Terraria now. She's gonna force us to play the the hardest of uh, Terraria survival games now. Fucking rip, I'm like gondola despair emote right now. I'm getting kind of. I don't like this trailer. I don't get what I'm supposed to see. And I've also been drinking and not really paying attention, so it's kind of my fault. Okay, there we go. It's over. What else we got? Saints Row, let's fucking go, I guess. I don't know. Can we just go back to street gangs? I don't, I don't like being pandered to. <laughs> Cheese. All right, they do have like the create a boss dude beta thing that they usually do for these Saints Row games. So like up on GOG and I think Steam. I thought about pulling that thing up just to like see what the character creator is like, because the character creator does actually look kind of decent. But I I don't like how silly Saints Row's gotten. I like Saints Row too. Just keep it like that. That's all they had to do. They just had to make Saints Row 2, they just had to make Saints Row 3, Saints Row 2 more, or Saints Row 3, Saints Row 2.2, 2.5, whatever. They, had, they, they just had to make it more like Saints Row 2. It would have been a good game. Look at that, you can make Dracula, you can be a construction worker, you can be a firefighter, you can be whatever you want to be, even though you're a gang leader or something like that. Friendly fire. Love it. I'm going to just play Saints Row 1 and 2 again. Yo, is that Johnny Gat I just saw? It looked like him. That means Johnny Gat's not in the game. Fucking rip. Yeah, I'm not that interested in this game I'll uh I'll play I don't know I'll play Saints Row 1 <laughs> I'll play Saints Row uh it's Epic Game Star fucking rip it's dead on arrival I'll play Saints Row 1 and 2 again on stream or some shit like that I wasn't either hey what's going on NPC Noko glad you can make it hope your day's been going good yeah I'm I'm not too interested in this game I just I just want to play Saints Row 2 for all eternity, I guess. I shouldn't hi, say hi. that. Hey, hi, hi. I, sh I shouldn't say that because it, it'll probably end up happening and then I'll just hate myself for like all eternity for being stuck to playing Saints Row 2. I am kind of interested in this game and I hope that there's actual gameplay this time what around. What about Sonic? Sonic? God, no. Please don't. Please don't make me play Sonic for all eternity. I'm getting a little loose right now with this alcohol. I can feel it. Okay, we finally got some gameplay. Yeah, it looks okay. 
It looks more or less the same as uh, Vermintide. The new Trilomad, it looks so amazing. <laughs> uh, I mean, this, this looks more or less like Vermintide, but with, you know, actual guns. What is this game? Uh, this is 40 Warhammer 40k Ver uh, Dark Tide. Not to be confused with Vermintide. <laughs> But I, I have been looking forward to this game for like the last two years or something like that. Whenever this game was first announced. But I I really want to play this game. This is definitely going to be another like VTube collab game. Uh, it's, 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 I mean, you, you, can, you, you see the gameplay. It's basically Left 4 Dead, but in the 40k universe. I love Vermintide. Like Vermintide 1 and 2. They're such good games. Well, I do have some of my gripes with Vermintide too, mainly because the devs didn't like how co-op was breaking their game, so they just like debuffed players and stuff like that. But where are the dice? Uh, no dice. Layers of fear! Let's go! I fucking hate this game. I'm gonna skip it, guys. I'm sorry. Unreal Engine 5! I'd be down to play. Do you think it'll have Twitch integration like Vermitod A2? You know what? Like, give it about six months and they'll probably put it in. I do not care about Layers of Fear. Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights. Everyone loves it. Red Hood. Everyone likes Red Hood, right? Everyone likes Jason Todd. He's the guy that kills people. I heard that the, uh, the, the Batman comic where Dick Grayson became Batman was actually like a really decent run. And... What's his name? Damian Wayne was Robin. It was like a really good. Was like a really good run, but uh, I never got around to reading that shit. All right, I just want to see the gameplay. There we go. I had nothing, and then this city became my home. Its people became my family. Gotham gave me everything. It deserves to feel safe. Yo, Nightwing. Everyone loves Nightwing. Everyone knows who Nightwing is. But yeah, I have no idea if this is a continuation of, like, what, Arkham Knight, I guess, was the game? Was the last game? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this game is. It looks, like, very weird compared to the other Arkham games. But this is Gotham Knight, so I'm assuming it's like a spin-off game and not an actual continuation of Arkham Knight. It looks like a Marvel version of that recent Avengers game. You know what? You're you're not far off. It definitely does look like that. But it's got co-op stuff in it, so it's got to be cool. How is Red Hood gonna factor into this? Into this? That dude kills people. <laughs> uh, they should have just brought Damian Wayne in and just pissed everyone off. But that's probably why they didn't bring Damian Wayne in because they didn't want to piss anyone off. Just make Damian Wayne a good character. Okay. Last of Us! Let's go! Druckmann. The set he uses rubber bullets is one trailer. Oh. Okay. I guess that's okay. Show me the remake. I'm not going to play your remake, Druckmann. I didn't care for Last of Us the first time. I'm not going to care for it again. Oh my god, they're just... Hey, it's it's the TV show. Let's go. Is that really supposed to be them? Is that supposed to be Joel and e e Ellie? Eli? Ellie? Ellie, I think is her name? No way that's fucking Joel and Ellie. It doesn't even look like them. They just, just got Troy Baker. They just got Troy Baker and... What's her name? Oh look! Look at the forehead. <laughs> no, don't say that. It's not her fault. Oh my God! It's Troy Baker again. Life is despair. Oh my God! It's Troy. 
Look at Troy. Look at this Chad right here. Look at him. The only guy that's like decently dressed out here. Maybe no, Jeff Keeley's fairly decently dressed. None of these people wear. Look, look at these game dev. Look at this game dev. This CEO man just coming out here and no, no, no not even Jeff. He's dressed. Jeff's dressed super casually. He's playing wearing a fucking. He's wearing a fucking shirt with a fucking <laughs> with a fucking jacket on. Wear a fucking suit, you ass. Wear a fucking suit like Troy is. Nah, Troy's even casual enough, but he's 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 more fancily dressed than fucking Jeff here. Is there gonna be a fucking trailer? Or are we just gonna talk about the TV show? Because I have no interest in the TV show. There we go. Finally, some fucking gameplay. Let's fucking go, dude. I reckon he's got something to do with that girl. He's got everything to do with that little girl. The remake already looks worse. 920 9222 let's go it's going to be shit I don't know I warrants this remake uh because money I guess I don't know <laughs> uh they they wanted to they wanted to remake it for the PS5 because the PS5 has no games yeah this fungus zombie looks okay Built from the ground up for the PS5. Let's go. I told you, it was just a remake for the PS5. Because the PS5 didn't have any games. So they were like, uh, bring Last of Us back. Part one? Oh yeah, that's right. Part one. <laughs> Every so time I see... Ray tracing. Yeah, it's got ray trace in it. Every time I see part one now, I assume they split it up. And it's just like, no, it's just call it The Last of Us. I don't need to see the part one unless they literally split split The Last of Us 1 into two parts. Remastered part one? Oh my... No, there's no way they split the first game into two parts. It looks like shit, I ain't gonna lie. They both look like shit. Whatever, Druckmann. <laughs> Whatever, Neil. Your name's Neil. Not gonna call you Druckmann. That's it. They can't use remastered or dev to Edition again. No. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for saving E3, or putting E3 out of its misery. Thank you. Let's, uh... Oh, that's right, I wanted to watch the Alien trailer again. Here we go. I wanted to rewatch this one. There you go, it's like we're going back in time. Oh, man. I feel the alcohol hitting me now. Holy shit. I feel like it just like hit me all at once. I, I like moved in like one direction. It's just like a rush that to my brain. That game is gonna be fun. What the alien game? I think so. I think the alien game is gonna be okay. Let me uh, let me boost the audio. I think it's been a little too low. There we go. That should be a little bit better. But no one was complaining, so I assumed it was okay. It's Diablo with Xenomorphs. Dude, is it really going to be Diablo with Xenomorphs? If that's the fucking case, I'm fucking hyped. Because I, I saw that it was a top-down shooter, and I was like, you know what? I'm I'm okay with this. I, I like top-downs. Top-downs are fucking cool. I, I fuck with it, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. What is this dude? This wasn't human. But yeah, now nah, we get a we get a really cool 
We get a really cool, like, aliens movie action, action segment going on. Saving my own ass. Rip. Get out of here. I don't know what I saw in there. But I know. I almost put I my did. real hand up there for a second. Jeez. I How fucked up I am. Now everyone's dead. And someone needs to know. But yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm slightly hyped for this game. I think this looks okay. I think it looks cool. Yeah, there you go. There's the gameplay. Yo, know, this is actually like Diablo with fucking aliens. I'm, I'm okay with it. I am. Let me see. I need some water. I can just feel like pure alcohol in my stomach right now.